Okay, so we're here today with the Governor Summer Job Hunt Young Adult Job Fair, looking to connect youth with employers and get them uh, summer jobs. I just thought it would be nice to come to the job fair and get a see if I can't get a job here. Just searching around, trying to hoping that I get a job to get the most decided jobs around Colorado, to be honest. You know, the sooner that young people can find their first jobs, you know, the sooner they can start, um, you know, building a career. We just got a chance and we just came to find summer jobs. In, in Colorado Springs right now, jobs aren't doing too well and uh, I look at this as an opportunity. It's excellent. I mean, that's pretty vague, but um, I feel like the job fair definitely helps people, uh, especially to go and talk to the employers and get those skills. I was recently let go of my last job, and I thought a job fair would actually be a great way to meet some new employers. I felt great because I put in a couple of applications and got interviews right in them. I'm very interested in searching for success. No, he's the one that actually wanted to come. No, no mom here. This is all him. He's just turned 16 a couple months ago and he's ready to step into that. The main purpose of the Governor Summer Job Hunt is to help um, alleviate the high unemployment rate among young adults ages 16 through 21. The Governor's Summer Job Hunt has been around for uh, several years and it's really money allocated by the federal government to the governors of each state. And then it's the governors of each state who allocate that money down to the, uh, to the regional workforce centers. Uh, it's just an excellent way to engage with young people to get them the uh, job training and the job readiness that they need for uh, you know, uh, a lifetime of employment. So you know, that first job really defines um, a lot of the skills, I should say a lot of the skills that, we, that you do on your first job are skills that you're going to use for the rest of your life. Hopefully in the job fair, as far as I can tell, get as many kids, many people as possible to get jobs, put them out there, expose them to the employers, and help them get the summer jobs as they need. year over year that we're getting more employers to the Governor Summer Job Hunt Youth Job Fair and I think that shows that there are opportunities for youth. The first impression I was um, kind of like like I said a little scared and nervous but then I was starting to feel better and getting to know everybody in there that I got my application for I had a really good time. I think it's really nice actually. I think it's what people want because um, you know it's just so hard to get a job nowadays. I have a, an account on Connecting Colorado and on the front page they often have job fairs. This is my first one I have attended so far. The Governor Summer Job Hunt Job Fair which is an effort to bring employers and young adults in contact with each other. So I work with my colleague Bob Gimignani and on one side of the, the fence he's talking to employers about why, about why young adults are a good hire and we're also working with young adults to make sure that they are good hires and just helping them with basic job readiness and preparing them to, to take on the world of work.
work for most of us gives us a sense of identity and a sense of purpose in our lives. And I think that's, again, something that not only you know young people, but all people need. And by serving this population, these 16 to 21 year olds, um, providing them those opportunities, I think we're setting them on the, you know, the road to success. And you know, some people do get hired on the spot. That's the other thing too. So um, you get that possibility, that likelihood, and that opportunity more than you would if you just turned in an application. I mean, I'm not sure how often anybody has filled out an online application and then not been sure about where it goes. Well, what young adult job seekers should know is that employers are oftentimes as frustrated by their inability to know who's attached to this application as job seekers are about knowing, you know, what did the employer think of my application when he got it? So job fairs in general are a wonderful opportunity to really bridge that gap and to allow people to meet face to face. And um, we all know that, you know, you've got that fabulous personality and if you could just meet the employer and talk to them and, and look at them in the eye, you could make that connection. Job fairs really do that. And for young adults in particular, what we find that a lot of employers are looking for is for enthusiasm, eye contact, can-do attitude, will-do performance, and a lot of those are personality traits that you can really demonstrate face-to-face. Pretty much excited about the possibilities of what's out there and everything. I can very much thrive in customer service. I am a very personable person. My job that I am interested in is in working with kids because I like taking care of kids and making kids happy and I like to see them happy and it makes me happy. I'm kind of just here to mill about and see if I can't get a job so that just makes me, um, I guess that ups the ends or odds. I think he's looking for something more outdoors and people related. He's a very good people person. Not particularly, but if, but I'll take whatever um, anybody's offering, you know, just to see what, just to see what it's like and experience something new. Jobs that I thought I wasn't going to have an interview for, but when I did, I did have an interview for those jobs. So it was great. I haven't even seen, I haven't even seen what's here, but you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's something. in a, like a law office because I would like to pretty much go into law so I'd probably like to learn more about it through intern. We've got a lot of different jobs ranging from hotels, fast food workers, a lot of outdoor jobs for the summer so window cleaning, exterior painting, exterior house painting. I know that there's a huge, huge, huge misconception about working fast food jobs, but you know, Wendy's in, in Colorado Springs actually has their corporate headquarters here. So jobs at Wendy's could include marketing jobs. Jobs at Wendy's could include you know business management, HR, a variety of other positions. So you know you might need to twist how you think about the world of work. There's some fascinating jobs out there in places that you wouldn't initially consider. You know, the value of a first job can't be, um, you know, can't be undersold or can't be underestimated. Confident. You know, I'm good at talking with people and I guess I just carried myself well. 
You know, we hear a lot of people talk about how important the next generation is, but we have to put our money where our mouth is in terms of invest, investing that time. Um, and young adults are I'm continually amazed at how professional they are and the skill sets they have. And it's unfortunate that with the economic downturn, the youth unemployment rate is where it is. So I think the value of this particular environment is, you know, we offer, um, it's not just a job fair. We do a seven to 10 minute job fair readiness prep because we know that, um, you know, if you've got a top of mind, you know, how you can take advantage of this opportunity in terms of having a 30 second elevator speech, in terms of being able to talk to an employer about why you are a good fit for the position, there's no reason why they shouldn't walk out of there with a job. The positions and the companies that are out here um, are a great fit for uh, their ambitions because a lot of these um, positions are entry level and are going to give them the skills required to be able to move into more intermediate positions down uh, down the road. So you know, feel like uh, the positions that are being presented to these candidates are right where they're at. I think job fairs are a great idea, especially for, for young adults, because especially people in my age group, it's harder for them to find jobs because of so little experience. While unemployment still remains high in Colorado Springs, there are opportunities for youth, and I think employers are seeing that there's value in mentoring and coaching youth through their first jobs, allowing them a chance to put something on their resume, um, getting an employee who's fresh and doesn't come in with any bad habits from another employer, uh, that's always a, a great uh, draw. And I think um, it's not lost on employers that youth are fresh-minded and may have ideas, may be able to innovate their organization better than an older worker. I think the number one thing young adults have to know is that because your number one job when you're in school is going to school, your resume is going to look very different than a professional resume would. So you do get to talk about the volunteer work that you've done. You do get to talk about um, how well you've done in school or the kinds of clubs that you're involved in because you may not have a lot of work experience. But ultimately, all of the things that you're doing are very valuable and those are things that, you need, that need to be considered. So I don't want young adults to feel like they're not on the same playing ground as adults. They just have different skill sets in different areas. For those youth who couldn't make it to the job fair today, we do offer all of our services at the Pikes Peak Workforce Center. You can access those services online at ppwfc.org or by coming to our office at the Citizen Service Center. We've got case managers and staff assigned to help you throughout the summer. We've got workshops that are designed to help you update your resume, mock interview, and get the job. I've seen a lot of excellent candidates today. A lot of these candidates have come prepared. Uh, they have their resumes already created, and they're very re ready to articulate uh, the type of uh, job opportunities that they're looking for, whether it be part-time or full-time. Uh, they've been very good at answering questions, um, you know, with regards to their backgrounds, their education, and uh, it's really been a very successful event. It gives a chance to actually have different type of jobs and companies out there so you can actually go in one place and find different things you like. They're going to have some great jobs and, and if you're looking for a job, this is the place to come to to find a quick job like right there. Pretty excited for him. Be nice for him to have his own money. If you, you know, didn't get a chance to attend the job fair today, that the Governor's Summer Job Hunt is a program that runs through uh, the month of August. So if you're still looking for, you know, job referrals or, you know, you're needing some job readiness training to maybe help you uh, gain the skills that you need to get that first job, then, you know, contact the Pikes Peak Workforce Center. Uh, we we want to help and that's what we're there for.